Hi, everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about PIC, a simpler way to write MapReduce programs. PIC is a high-level language developed at Yahoo that allows you to write, understand, and maintain MapReduce programs more easily. A PIC program that you have written can automatically be converted into MapReduce programs, so you don't need to implement many map and reduce functions from scratch. PIC's language is called PIC Latin. When using PIC, your program becomes a data flow sequence. You can think of it as multiple data transformations, meaning you have your input data, then some operation is done on that input data to generate some intermediate data. And PIC performs several such intermediate operations on the intermediate data, eventually producing the results that you want. There are two primary benefits in using PIC. The first benefit is that you can save a lot of time and effort because typically a PIC program is a lot shorter than a full map reduced program. And PIC is quite easy to learn too. A second benefit is that PIC has a very nice built in support to perform a sample run on a large data set. That is, you can test and debug your program much faster instead of running it against a full data set, which can take hours. Since a PIC program is eventually converted into a map reduce program, it will have the same limits as Hadoop map reduce, meaning it is still disk based. So PIC is still mainly suitable for batch processing and not for real time random read or write of data. A PIC program could be slower than a map reduce program that you write from scratch because PIC may need to figure out quite a few details, such as what map and reduce function it should convert your PIC script into. However, the trade-off is likely worth it because you save a lot of time in writing and maintaining your program in the long run. You can try PIC easily because PIC is a client-side application, meaning it runs on your computer. There's nothing to install on the Hadoop cluster. There are two ways to run PIC. One is the local mode, which is great for smaller data set and can be run on your computer. The program will not be converted into a map reduce program. Another mode is map reduce mode, where your program will be converted into a map reduce program, which can then be run on a Hadoop cluster. Since you can set up a single machine cluster using your own computer, you can try both modes easily. There are three ways to write PIC programs. The first one is as scripts. The second is through a command prompt interactively. We'll look at an example of how to do that in a later video. PIC's interactive shell is called Grunt. And like any interactive programming, it's great for debugging. Grunt has also a very nice feature of code completion. The third way is as embedded program as you may expect, as in an embedded program of a larger code base. In this video, we introduce you to PIC and talk about the benefits of PIC, when you may want to use it, and how you can try it out. 